So happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. I'd like the children to wave to me. Children. Children. I don't see anyone in uniform waving. Hey. Children. Aren't you children of God? Yes, yeah, so let us all wave. Children of God, wave to me. Yes, yeah, so happy Sabbath, children of God. Happy day. Happy day. Happy yes, so I have a story. Long ago, a prophet by the name Isaiah said that a child will be born. That who will be born? A child will be born. And that child will be born so many years after Isaiah died. And true to Isaiah's word, a child was born. Their parents, Mary and Joseph, went to be counted in the city of Bethlehem. The city was so busy because everyone had come to be counted. Everyone who was born in Bethlehem had come to be counted, had come to be counted. But Mary was ready to be delivered. They went all round looking for an inn, but unfortunately, they found none. This was so unfortunate because Mary couldn't wait to be delivered. But oh, there was a cow shed nearby. So, since Mary couldn't wait to be delivered, the child had to be born on a, on a manger. Do you know what child I'm talking about? What child am I talking about? Yes, Jesus. So this child was born to Mary and Joseph. They loved him so much because at that time he was the only child. Mary taught Jesus how to speak, how to walk. She loved him so much that she taught him how to read the Bible. Well, at that time, it wasn't called the Bible, but that's what we have in the Old Testament. And Jesus learned how to obey his parents. Jesus, like any other child, would cry sometimes. He would feel hungry. He would want to do some childish things. But his mother instructed him on what to do. And Jesus obeyed her. Jesus was a child just like any other. But different from many children at that time. Because after being born in Bethlehem, they moved back to Nazareth. Nazareth was a place ridden or full of crime. Full of children who didn't want to obey their parents. But Jesus decided that he would obey his mom and dad. That he would do what? Obey his mom and dad. And this made him different from all the other children. And all the other children wondered, hmm, this child is so different. Jesus learned how to read the Bible, and as he slowly grew up, as we are told in the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 52, he grew in wisdom and stature. So meaning Jesus did it well, right? Yeah, he grew in stature also. So as he feasted on the word of God, he also ate well. That the Bible commends that he grew in stature. He obeyed his parents in food, dress, and every other facet of life. Jesus grew to be a very wise man, right? Yes, we know Jesus to be the wisest, let alone Solomon. Jesus was very wise because he was fed on the word of God. Jesus grew up and knew his mission. 
that he had come to save this world. Jesus, being obedient, worked in his father's uh, timber yard as a, carp- as a carpenter. And everyone knew Jesus as the son of a carpenter. They didn't say that he was the son of that man, Joseph. No, they said he was a son of a carpenter because they would always see him there working diligently, obeying his father, helping his father, right? So Jesus obeyed his father, worked together with his father. Jesus loved his parents and he loved God too. And God loved him. When Jesus grew up, many people didn't like him. This person is too obedient. No, this person is too good. And one day he even sat with the elders in the synagogue and discussed the Bible with them. His parents came and he told them, I am in my father's house. And they had no conflict with him because they knew Jesus was an obedient child. Jesus became a man. He taught the people of the word of God, but not everyone liked him. But we know that God loved him. Because one day as he walked with his three friends, John, James, and who's the other friend? Yes, Simon Peter. Very good. The other friend was Simon Peter. And as they walked with him up the mountain, they saw the heavens open, and a voice came from God saying, this is my son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Wow, God really loved Jesus, right? But we've learned that Jesus was not disobedient. He obeyed his parents. So today, children of God, it is my appeal to you that we should obey our parents in the Lord. For this is right. We should honor our fathers and mothers, for this is the first commandment with a promise. We all know that Jesus eventually went to heaven, and we hope to see him soon. But in order to see him soon, we need to obey our parents. And our parents need to be like Jesus' parents to teach us of the word of God. Let us be submissive to our parents, that we may please our parents, we may please all men, and that we may please God, because we are good children. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, may you help us to be good children. May we obey our parents as Jesus obeyed his parents. May we by obeying our parents, please you, as Jesus pleased you by obeying his parents and grew up to be our savior. May we honor our parents and may our parents instruct us to the truth. This is our prayer as children today in Jesus' name. Amen.